Well, the city of Bemidji is known as Christmas, so you're bound to see a few wreaths around town. Lakeland News reporter Sherelle Moore has more on a special display made by local businesses around town for this week's In Focus. Christmas has come to Bemidji. If you couldn't tell by the lights, the music, and the snow, the Headwater School of Music and Arts also has 18 new special decorations on display. This Festival of Wreaths is something we wanted to give to the city of Bemidji as another part of the wonderful holiday uh, opportunities in town. The Bemidji Festival of Wreaths is a joint fundraiser between Headwaters and the Bemidji Area Sertoma Club. The wreaths will be auctioned off, then that money will go to support arts scholarships for kids and speech and hearing needs in our community. All the wreaths were created by local businesses. We talked about this for probably about a year, and we wanted to do something like this in the community where, where businesses could have a chance to get involved. Some of them are really unique, and really, uh, some of the wreaths that were, were decorated really an expression of the business, and we just hope people enjoy looking at them. And, and you can tell they got creative. These wreaths aren't just made with your typical tool bows. Yeah, BSU tickets, we're giving away BSU tickets on one of the wreaths um, that was donated by Thriving Financial. And uh, we have another wreath with a Christmas DVD on it that you can actually watch. Uh, we also have the Headwaters School did a really nice wreath with pencils and school type supplies on it. Uh, Raphael's is, is kind of a really cool wreath. It uh, really highlights and it lights up, which is kind of a neat feature of that one. And then of course we've got the collector's item in the making, the Coca-Cola wreath. If you missed out on seeing these wreaths tonight, don't worry, there's going to be a silent auction and concert next Saturday. It will be held on December 2nd from 6.30 to 8 p.m. here at the Headwaters School and have, have an opportunity to take part in the concert and, uh, and the silent auction and then we're live auctioning three of the wreaths. And if you don't get a chance to bet on a reef this year, organizers say there's a good possibility the festival will be making a comeback. There's a lot of different towns that do uh, a festival of reefs or a festival of trees. We, uh, we decided to start with reefs. Uh, we, maybe we'll do trees in the future, but right now we're doing reefs. With this week's In Focus, reporting in Bemidji, Sherelle Moore, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.